Have you ever updated your Instagram profile picture or posted something online and noticed it change immediately on your phone? But when your friend checks your profile on their device, they still see your old picture or they don't see what you posted for a few minutes. Or here's another one. You're watching an episode of your favorite show on Disney Plus on your phone. You immediately grab your laptop to continue watching on the browser, but Disney Plus has no idea where you left off. You're now scrolling through the episode trying to find the exact moment where you stopped. In both cases, it's the same application, the same account, but completely different versions of your data on different devices. It makes you wonder why these billion dollar companies can just make everything sync instantly. But here's the thing though, this isn't a bug or some oversight by some lazy engineers. These inconsistencies exist by design and the reason isn't that software engineers don't know how to fix them. It's that it's fundamentally impossible to fix because of something called the CAP theorem. CAP stands for Consistency, Availability, and Partition Tolerance. The CAP theorem states that in any distributed system, you can only guarantee two out of these three properties at the same time. You have to sacrifice one. This theorem forces software engineers to make conscious trade-offs when building large-scale distributed systems because perfect systems that have all three simply can't exist in the real world. Let's dive deeper. First, we have to understand what a distributed system means. When you use Instagram, Netflix, or any major software application, your data isn't just stored in one database sitting in one location. Instead, your data is distributed across multiple servers called nodes spread across different regions all around the world. If you think about it, this setup makes sense. If Instagram had only one server in California, users in Japan would experience terrible loading times. So instead, they have servers in North America, Europe, and everywhere else, all storing copies of the same data. When you update your profile picture, that change needs to sync across all these servers so anyone anywhere in the world sees your new picture. And for the most part, this works pretty well, but as we'll see, it can take some time and does come with some extra complexity. Now, here's where things are about to get interesting. Let's say we have a simple setup with just two database nodes, node A in New York and node B in London. When you update your data, it gets written to one of the node, which then syncs that update with the other node. But what happens when these nodes can't communicate with each other? This is called a network partition. Maybe there's a problem with the undersea internet cables or a data center goes down or there's just too much traffic overwhelming the network. Suddenly, node A and node B are isolated and they can't sync updates with each other. This is where the CAP theorem kicks in. First, let's define what each property means so we're on the same page. Consistency means that after you write data to the system, every read request from any node should return the same up-to-date information. Everyone sees the same truth. Availability means the system always responds to requests, no matter what's happening behind the scenes. When you ask for data, you always get an answer. Partition tolerance means the system continues to work, even when network failures split it into isolated groups of nodes. In a distributed system, partition tolerance isn't optional. It's bound to happen. Networks fail. It's not an if, it's a when. So when the network fails, the system still has to work, and now you're forced to choose between consistency and availability. If you prioritize consistency during a network partition, both nodes will reject any write request. They would rather give an error than risk having inconsistent data across the entire system. This is done to have strong consistency. Think about it this way. If node A accepts your profile picture update but can't tell node B about it, then node B still has your old profile picture. That's inconsistent data. So a strong consistency focused system would say, sorry, I can't process your update right now because I can't guarantee that everyone will see the same result. If you prioritize availability, both nodes will keep accepting requests even during a partition. On the other hand, if you prioritize availability, both nodes will keep accepting requests even during the partition. Your profile picture update goes to node A and node A says, got it, update complete, even though it can't sync with node B yet. This means node A has your new profile picture, but node B still has the old one. Your friend checking from London might see your old profile picture while you see the new one from New York. The system is available and is responding to requests, but it's temporarily inconsistent. Eventually, when the network partitions heal, the nodes sync up and everyone sees the same data. This is called eventual consistency because the data eventually becomes consistent across all nodes. Here's what this would look like in a real world example. Imagine you've built an online store with servers worldwide and it's Black Friday. Millions of users are rushing to buy a discounted TV. Suddenly, a network failure cuts off your European servers from your North American ones. You now have two choices. The first is to choose consistency. You stop all sales in Europe showing an error. Inventory check failed. Please try again later. This way, you never oversell the TV, but you've just turned away millions of potential customers on your biggest sale day. The second choice is to prioritize or choose availability. 
you allow both regions to keep selling based on their last known inventory count. Maybe you had 100 TVs in stock when the partition happened. Now, both regions might sell 100 TVs each, meaning you've accidentally sold 200 TVs when you had only 100 in stock. When the network heals, you'll have to send some awkward sorry we oversold emails or try to backfill, but you kept the shopping experience running. Most e-commerce sites choose availability during peak times like Black Friday. They'd rather deal with occasional oversells than lose millions in sales. Now, you might be thinking, wait, what about a third option? Why can't I choose both consistency and availability? Technically, yes, you can, but here's the catch. If you want strong consistency and perfect availability, you have to give up partition tolerance. And when you give up partition tolerance, you're no longer a distributed system. Instead, you're back to a monolithic system where everything runs on a single server or a tightly connected cluster in one location. You'll basically have one powerful computer handling all the requests instead of spreading the work across multiple servers worldwide. In this setup, there are no network partitions to worry about because everything is in one place. Your data is always consistent because there's only one copy of it, and the system is always available because that one server handles all the requests. But here's the problem. Monolithic systems don't scale globally. If your single server is in California and someone in Japan tries to use your app, they'll experience terrible loading times. Plus, if that one server goes down, your entire application goes offline worldwide. This is why almost every major application you use today is distributed in some form. Instagram, Netflix, Google, Amazon. They all sacrifice either consistency or availability to gain the benefits of having servers around the world. They've accepted that partition tolerance isn't optional in today's internet connected world. So how do you choose between prioritizing availability over consistency or vice versa? Availability first systems work well for social media, video streaming and chat applications. It's better to let users keep posting and watching even if everything isn't synced perfectly. Instagram choosing availability means users might temporarily see different data, but they'll always get data, meaning they can keep scrolling. Consistency first systems are crucial for banking, stock trading, and medical records. A bank can't show you the wrong account balance or let you withdraw money that doesn't exist. It's better to show an error than incorrect financial data. Traditional SQL databases like Postgres lean heavily towards consistency. They'll often reject operations if they can't guarantee that every node will get the same data. NoSQL databases like DynamoDB or Cassandra favor availability. They'll often respond to your request even if the latest update hasn't reached every node yet. Neither approach is right or wrong. It all depends on what your application needs. So the next time your Instagram profile picture takes a few minutes to sync on your friend's device or Prime Video doesn't remember where you left off, remember, it's not broken software. It's the result of specific engineering decisions based on the CAP theorem. Engineers often choose to keep their applications fast and responsive, accepting that instant perfect consistency across the globe isn't possible. They've decided that it's better for you to keep using their app smoothly, even if it means dealing with temporary data mismatches, rather than showing you error messages every time there's a minor network hiccup somewhere in the world. And honestly, for most of our daily app usage, this straight up works pretty well. That's it for this one. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives like this. Also, check out umacos.com for technical courses, coaching, and more. Catch you on the next one. Peace.